Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Wish for your Mesta, and I'm bringing you guys another one of those walkthrough videos. <coughs> um, today it's gonna be on firing range, and uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna use my favorite class, or one of my favorite classes. Uh, it's a hardened M16 with Ghost and Hacker, and uh, I'm gonna show you team deathmatch spawn. So if I spawn on this side. Um, I don't want to go to these sandbags because people like to throw grenades from over there and land here. Um, I believe it was an FPS Russia video. He got a quad right out the gate. Um, so if you want to try and get those, you know, guys running across, maybe kind of hide in behind these sandbags and you can pick anybody off that's trying to run through there. Um, you know, of course, everybody knows about like behind the barrel. Um, this one's okay, I guess, because the barrel provides a little more protection than the wood. Um, if you are running hardened and you don't feel confident in hitting the guy's head poking, you can just shoot through the wood and you'll be alright. Um, you can hide behind this metal thing um, if you want to get a little better angle on them coming around, but if you're both spawning at the same time, they're going to beat you here, and when you're about right here, you're going to be dead anyways. So that's probably not the best idea. Um, as far as in this in this building... Um, you can, well, you can jump up here and you can see, whoop, you can jump up here and you can see down that tunnel a little bit, um, that works pretty well. You can also jump up into here and try and, I mean, this isn't a very good spot because you can, your whole body's exposed, um, but you might be able to catch some people off guard. Um, also if you're, like, if you're in this building and this will work, you know, either way, if you're going to run out that door, you can kind of jump and see if there's anybody over there. And it just kind of gives you a little bit of a heads up. Um, Alright, I think that's... Oh, alright, let's show you over here first. Um, if you're over in this area, of course everybody knows about the crow's nest or tower or whatever you, know, you guys call it. But um, if you got people coming around the backside, this is a good spot. Um, provides you quite a bit of protection and you've also got the height advantage which is um, a plus. Also you can get up into this little area and uh, use the sandbags like this and uh, this provides even more protection and gives you even more of a height advantage. Um, anybody who's seen Team Art's recent video knows you can you know jump up into this area um, but this isn't really a jumps series so I'm not really gonna work too much on that. Um, you can hide behind this um, a little bit, but I don't really like this area because the sandbags work so much better. Sandbags, this, I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming you can shoot through that. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, is that a bullet hole? Yeah, okay, so you can shoot through that. Um, the sandbags you cannot shoot through. It doesn't matter how much, <laughs> you know, what gun you have, how many bullets you put in, you can't ever shoot through the sandbags. So this is a good area. Um, also up here is a good area. Um, you know, you can pop up and down if, uh, you know, when you want to shoot. And then, you know, kind of retreat and they're not going to be able to shoot you. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay. And we'll go over here into this spawn. If you'll spawn on this side, um... You know, you can climb up this ladder. I don't use this, but some people do. You can go up on it there and kind of crouch down or lay down. Um, the only problem is anybody coming from that side is going to get you, and you can't watch both sides. I don't like being in a spot in which I can't see exactly where the enemy is going to come from. I like it to be where I'm looking one way, and that's the way the enemy is going to come every time. Um, of course, everybody knows about here. Um, these sandbags and you know this is pretty common I try and stay out of areas that are common because when you go in an area that's you know well known and common it um, it draws a lot of attention because everybody's looking there now one spot I like to go when I spawn on this side is I will immediately go right here and this I think provides great protection um, I think it's probably one of the best because you can shoot you know pretty well everybody in the middle of the map and you have quite a bit of protection um, from these sandbags also because I'm using hacker this works you know later on in the matches when you have a bunch of campers up in this building area um, you can see any like claymores or c4 
Um, I'm going to bring you guys another video of me on this map, um, kind of like I did with the Havana video. And you'll see this guy has two pieces of C4 that are on like those stairways, and I shoot through it and it blows them up. Um, one thing you have to worry about is guys in that window, people like to camp in this window right here, um, and they have a pretty decent shot on you, but if you just watch that area um, pretty well, then you should be okay. And also, because you have hardened, even if they duck back behind that corner, you can shoot through and get them pretty, pretty easily. Um, I don't know, I think that's, that's kind of all the ones that I use. Um, again, another thing that I learned from Team Art, I didn't even know about this, but you can jump up like this to kind of avoid, avoid the claymore that's usually it on those stairs and, you know, sneak up behind the guy. Um, I don't ever like to be in that trailer, really, because, again, there's two doorways, and I don't like to be able to s be snuck up behind. Um, you can duck down behind this car if you know that there's people going to be coming from that side, but you don't want to be all the way up, you know, on those wooden things because they can be shot through easily. You can, you know, come over here, um, and duck back behind this car and you should be all right. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I can use this wooden piece effectively. I don't know that you really can, but, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll figure something out. But other than maybe hiding behind here and just jumping up to see if there's any... Not climbing, but jumping to see if there's anybody. Maybe boom. Um, stupid Storella. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be all I'm bringing for you uh, guys on this map. I don't know that there's a whole lot else to talk about. Um, I tried to get this video up yesterday, which would have been Thanksgiving. Um, but I had... Uh, had some family commitments, obviously, so, uh, hope you all had a, uh, nice, um, needless turkey murder day, um, <laughs> that's a quote from one of my, well, actually, let's see how, how, uh, awesome my subscribers are, if you guys can tell me, the first person to comment or PM me, from which, I'll even give you that it is, it wasn't a movie, it came from, like, a show on TV, if anybody can tell me from what show the, uh, the phrase, happy needless turkey murder day came from, um, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. First person to comment or leave me a personal message will uh, get that shout out. So um, I'm going to upload this today, which will be Friday, and then tomorrow on Saturday my real life gameplay of this map will, um, will be uploaded to show you guys kind of how this um, applies in an actual game. Alright guys, uh, I want to thank all my new subscribers, um, channel basically doubled again since my last video, and I uh, really appreciate that guys. And so I want to thank all you and uh, have a great day.